Hey, how the devil are you? Hey, how the devil are you? Welcome to Casper site. Oh, I know. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper site. And I also notice that some, a lot of the time when I say ladies and gentlemen, I barely say late. I, I say ladies and gentlemen. It's like ladies, ladies and gentlemen. It's like I don't pronounce the words. <clears throat> so here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, how the devil are you? My name's Ben. I'm here to entertain you, mate. Alright? Today we have got Mind CTV. Some freaky deaky shit, mate. I know what I say all the time. Loads of you have been asking me to review this, mate. Not a review. I don't <laughs> review it. I don't review it. I react to it, okay? To be honest with you, a lot of you have. And I'm I, I don't I don't lie, because a lot of you ask me all the time. To say like you need to react to this you need to react to that and look i get emails i get tweets and all that sort of stuff so look mind see tv this one is called terrifying encounter in haunted hotel extreme paranormal activity mate i added in the mate scary it says all right make sure you go to mind see tv subscribe and do the thing without further ado ta diddly day i don't know what's up with me all right let's do this Oh, bloody- Thank you so much for being a Casperian. Shh. Nope. Nope. Go on, my CTV! I hear there's a woman in this hotel known as the Grey Lady. I had one of the strangest encounters imaginable while testing for EVPs in the basement bathroom. One of the strangest things imaginable. Mate, you've been dragged from one room to the other by a ghost. Mate, we're going to another level then. Who is this? What happened when we were in the ballroom is literally the pinnacle of what we do this for. Oh, she did. Somebody here with us right now? Everything from there started going crazy. Empty. Saloran. Rose. Okay. Bell. Jesus. Okay. Lafayette Hotel was very strange. What started as a slow night quickly developed into something much deeper. Much deeper. <laughs> Editing on point. Apparently this place is well known for paranormal encounters ranging from people seeing full body apparitions, items being triggered on command, voices, just a lot of weird things happening in there that can't be explained. These old school pictures, mate. Explained. <clears throat> During the first hour and a half of being there, all we were getting was these random things coming through on the ovulus, nothing that really made much sense. And it was kind of so uneventful that I felt like it wasn't even really watch worthy for the viewers. But that's when things got a little bit weird. weird, weird. Amazed like. Mm. Okay. It says we banned, release, and jam. <laughs> release and jam. All right, see you guys in a little bit. May. Fuck. Jesus Christ, this thing's fucking rapping, mate. A lot of readings over here. Yeah. Huh? Threat. It's Eminem in that bloody box or something. Threat. Coins. Somebody threaten you for some coins? Oh, this room's kind of creepy. It is. It is. Creature. I'm just gonna sit right here. That's all right with you. Oh. 
Yeah, I guess it is alright with you, mate. Alright, there's like pipe stone or something. If there's anybody here that would like to talk, I have a device. You could say anything through that if you like. I could even leave it here. That was for a bloody orb. That was an orb that just flew past. Communicate when I come back if you want to leave some words on that. Let me see what you got to say. This is freaky deaky in here, man. And it looks really cold and damp as well. Smelly. Hello, hello. Smelly welly. What the hell was that? Is there someone here with me? Can you tell me your name? Oh, mate, mate, mate. Oh, mate, these sounds, man, these are cool. Mate, listen carefully. I can hear that as clear as day. I'll leave it for a minute and I'll check out the rest of the place. Feel free to come over here and give us any words on that device if you'd like. I hear there's a woman in this hotel known as the Grey Lady. Oh, and she's supposed man. to be very, very beautiful. And she's Grey? Okay. You show yourself to me. Each to their own. You say hello to me and my guys. I had one of the strangest encounters imaginable while testing for EVPs in the basement bathroom. Paranormal investigator. Something's gonna kick off here. It's gonna kick off, Tanner. Tanner's gonna kick off, mate. Get out of there, Tanner! I was sitting in complete darkness doing my testing. Oh, mate. I heard footsteps approaching the door, and I heard somebody or something slowly open the door to the bathroom. Yo, can you Who is this? Mate, that's not acting. Right, that, that legit. Look at his face. He's like, like, his reaction was bang, surprise, and then nothing. Like, what's going on? Oh, curiosity. Paid to have access. Oh. Yeah. We're filming and our equipment's all over there, so people aren't supposed to be down here. Mate, is he talking to an effing ghost right now? Is this what's happening right now? He thinks he's talking to some sort of security guard or something, but really he's talking to a fucking ghost! He's basically gonna be like, Tanner, I have the keys. 
there's no one else here. Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> Tanner radioed us during our split investigation and told us that we needed to check the equipment because there was someone else down in the basement with us. I couldn't really see who it was. At first I thought it was Casey or Colton because no one had access to that part of the building while we were down there. But then I realized it was an elderly man and he was asking me what I was doing down there. Mate, if I so Oh God, look at you. Huh? Oh, mate. Oh, man. If he's been talking to a ghost, mate. Motherfucker, I'm down. I'm down. Oh, we paid to have access. At the time, I honestly wasn't thinking anything paranormal. I was honestly kind of pissed that somebody was interrupting our investigation. And for whatever reason, his voice just wasn't in the recording. Yeah. We're filming and our equipment's all over there, so people aren't supposed to be down here. He wasn't whispering or talking quiet. Oh my fucking god. Oh mate. This is really freaking me out, man. At least talking like I'm talking right now. Until we look back at the footage later. And, and it looks like it you're looks crazy. Like I was having a conversation with myself. Yeah. Yeah. We're filming and our equipment's all over there, so. People aren't supposed to be down here. We maxed out the volume, we played it in slow motion, we did everything that we could to try and hear this other person that Tanner was speaking to, and we got nothing. Fucking hell! Who is this? Oh, we paid to have access. I've known Tanner my whole life. Mate, that doesn't sound like uh, that doesn't sound like a, a fake conversation to get views. Do you know what I mean? That doesn't sound like you know. I I I mean, it could be a damn good actor like myself, you know. <laughs> but I don't know, mate. But, you know, it was like, hey, what? Yeah. So we we we've got equipment down there, and yeah, we we paid to get in here. It doesn't seem legit, even when you act. I mean, I, I, I could do better than that. <laughs> but like that looked totally legit, man. I don't know what's going on, but that looked totally legit. He would never make something up like that. So we did an entire sweep of the downstairs area, nothing. We even went upstairs and checked with the security to see if anyone had gone into the building. They said we were the last ones to go in there. It doesn't make any sense that there's no audio of the person he was talking to, but that's one of those things that made us look at each other and say, what the hell just happened? The only reason I for sure know that the door opened is because we heard the there's door. an exit sign right outside the door and I saw the red glow come through the open door. You can even see it on the static cameras. So I know for a fact that that door opened. Typically when we go on these investigations, we go from location to location without getting too much sleep and it wouldn't be a surprise if one of us was in a dark room by ourselves, not getting much responses for a while, and maybe you start to doze off, or maybe you, you're in a dreamlike state, but that red light shining in proved that he was in fact seeing what he saw. Someone besides us was definitely present with Tanner for a brief moment in the basement. When I was down there, I heard his voice clear as day, and there's just no reasonable explanation as to why his voice wouldn't be in the recording. Other teams have mentioned what? an old man's apparition that shows up in the basement, and some even claim to have had conversations with it. Whoever or whatever that was Tanner saw, I'm starting to think was an actual apparition. I still don't understand Jeez. it. It doesn't make any sense, but stranger things have happened on investigations. Who is this? Oh, we paid to have access. Like, even his face is totally like, uh, who the hell is this in here, you know? Oh. Yeah. We're filming and our equipment's all over there, so... People aren't supposed to be down here. And that's like, people aren't supposed to be down here. That's like a little hint, like, as in, get the fuck out, mate. Right, we're recording. We paid for the whole venue. Right, get out. 
Little soul hint there, yeah? Right, get the F out, mate. Next, we decided to set up the Yes No Prism in the back corner of the hotel restaurant. And this particular booth was said to be a booth where mobsters would frequent often. They would have meetings there and apparently a few of these mobsters died within the hotel. So they believe that the spirits of these mobsters still visit that particular booth. And we thought that maybe it would be a good idea to set up our tests in that actual section. Restaurant. Mate, this looks sketchy as hell, man. Look at the state of this place, eh? Look at the state of that. So, she said this back booth was the mafia section? Yeah, the hot spot. So Find the booth? It's over here. Yeah. Oh, it's like a heavy presence in here, kind of, right? Yeah, it's nice and old. Like, the closer you get this way, you can feel kind of weird. Full pressure. Yeah. All right, um... I'll grab the... You want to try yes, no prism first? Yeah, yeah. no, See yeah. See how that does? Got all our stuff over here. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing a ghost hunt very soon. Me and Mace, we're going to be doing a ghost hunt on our own. I'm going to hire out a whole venue. I don't want to say too much about it because we, we have still got to do it, but I'm going to, I'm going to pay for the whole fucking lot. All right? I'm going to say, everyone, get the F out. I've paid for it. We're going in there investigating the ghosts, mate. I'll keep you in the loop. Lil Tip is one of the most, if not the most haunted places in England. And you're going to need this. So this is a yes, no prism. It has lights on both sides of it. If you light it up on the left side, all you have to do is come close to it and it'll light up green, which will mean yes. And if you come close to the right side, it'll light up red, which will mean no. Can you please communicate with us by coming close to the device and letting us know that you're here with us right now? We also have an EMF detector on the other side of the restaurant. That way, if you're not comfortable coming close to us, you can go close to that device over on that side and it'll let us know that you're there. We're not here to harm you, we just want to communicate. Come on, grey lady. Did you guys hear that in the corner over there? Hello? Somebody here with us right now? Can you let yourself be known? When we were asking questions in the restaurant, the EMF detector, which we had put on the stage all the way on the opposite side, started spiking. Wow. Can you come over here and talk to us? Is that a no? If you can come over here and do that same thing, green for yes. Oh shit. Was what was that? That was that thing. Was it? Yeah, it was, mate. Light up? That sounded like a walkie. Yeah, I did, it did. You can come over here and do that same thing. Green for yes. Was that that thing? Yeah. What was it? It was. That was that thing. Was it? But it didn't light up. It did. That sounded like a walkie. Oh, it I did. Walkie in my pocket. I did too. Make sure that what noises are making all that. Well, that was full when we had it a little while ago. Maybe you just got an energy drain. Oh, what the Maybe. fuck? I, I literally charged those overnight. Yeah. Mine's still full. Yours should not be dead. 
I know a battery being low might not seem like a big deal to the viewers, but yes, when you walk in somewhere and you know that everything that you have is fully charged, the radio battery that's supposed to take days to die is all of a sudden drained. Yeah, man, radio batteries take like yeah, don't take any battery power at all. Yeah. Are you targeting so me? All of his entourage would be around him right now. You're probably sitting in that exact spot where he would be. Oh, knock over there too. There's a knock over there, and then the EMS starts going off. It seemed like there was items being triggered on the opposite side of where the booth was, maybe to get us up out of the booth. I really don't know. Ultimately, we decided to go to where the EMF detector was getting spikes at, and sure enough, we started to get some answers. Yes, mate. Bloody Rambo it. Came over to where you were. This is why I like these lot. They just Rambo it. They're like, what the F, mate? Let's investigate. Let's go. Oh, fucking hell. What was that? Yeah. Can you go near our prison? I mean, weak? That's a green. Why are you weak? Have you spent a lot of energy? Listen. Was that not enough energy that you got from the walkie talkie? Oh, that's no. little. Is whoever made the EMF detector go off earlier here with us now on the stage? It said yes again. restaurant at one point we're using yes no prism we asked if the entity wanted us to move to the ballroom and it lit up green that meant yes so we moved on over to the ballroom we were told that the ballroom was famous for items being triggered and personally i found that very intriguing so when we went into the ballroom we wanted to set up a different kind of a test and see if whatever spirit or entity is present that people are claiming they're having communication with can that spirit actually trigger items individually so yes mate three... good idea yeah let's go let's get this baby go emf detectors across three tables throughout the room and we started asking questions yeah because you bloody rambo did oh so we have three emf detectors set up right now in front of us and we were told that spirits in this room like to play with mate these tables are just gonna go stuff flowing up in the bloody air and that proper ghostbusters style equipment the spirits in this room have turned flashlights off in the past triggered emf detectors on command so can you please come close to any one of these three tables let us know that you're here with us now there's also a device over there it's pretty much like an ovulus inside of a teddy bear if you come close to that you can tell us a phrase or something that you want to tell us feel free to come communicate with us when i get a harm mate that's proper door closing It's gonna hit the fan! We were told this is a very active room. Do you want to prove that to us? Can you use the energy from any of our devices to light up one of these EMF detectors? I heard that. First, we heard a 
very slight whisper behind us, and then it seemed like everything from there started going crazy. Oh shit, here we go, mate. Yeah. 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 Oh shit, dude! It's a, can you finish that sound? That's fucking. Whoa, shit, dude! It just like went all surreal. What happened when we were in the ballroom is literally the pinnacle. Mate, if that Teddy started speaking like that, mate, what the f? Of what we do this for? It was one after another after another, and it was like each item was just being triggered in such an order that it actually seemed like something was moving yeah. across the room. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off, mate. No way. No. That... Can you finish this sound? Boom, boom. What the F, mate? Oh, shit. So the bear says, can you finish this? And then makes a tapping noise. The bangs that followed the bear's phrase had some, like, bass to it. It almost sounded like it came from the wall in the adjacent room to us. Empty. Nobody. What the fuck? When the EMF detectors first went off, it was a huge adrenaline rush just based on the simple fact yeah. that they all went off simultaneously seemingly on command it wasn't that man. yeah man it was way louder than that yeah that's crazy that's, that's, exactly like that's the, yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. This kind of between between them, but it sounded like a little more bass than that didn't it yeah it was kind of between them would you ask a couple more questions yeah try to move to one of the rooms that was awesome that was sick if you can do that again on any one of these tables we would be so happy with you. Can you move back across the room one time? Oh, mate, if it does it, it does it. What are you? Oh, shit, dude. Oh, no, I can't believe No way, mate. Can you dance on the table, great lady? That. That is Make insane. it rain! <laughs> Wow! Yeah, it happened twice, mate. Hey, I like Can that rewind shit, mate. Are you? Oh, shit. Dude. Oh, I can't believe that. Sounds like a dentist. <laughs> If you enjoy communicating with the living, can you like that last table up over there? Can you what? Can you knock that last table? Or can you light that last table? The fact that we were able to ask it, can you please do it again, and got another response. And to be able to get it on camera, it's honestly incredible. From the perspective of a paranormal investigator, you really can't ask for much more. We're looking for proof of an afterlife. A lot of the times we don't get much and when something moves past you like that on an investigation, it's honestly incredible. Mm. It's something that is special. Stop. That's not stop. Dude, I literally said, can you go back? I got to do that. Energy's erratic. Ding, ding, ding. Whoa. After getting the EMF. I've got a funny feeling it's going to go a little bit like tipsy turpsy. Tipsy, tipsy turpsy. Tur Tipsy, tipsy whipsy? No, fuck it. I don't know. You know what I mean. It's going to go epic, mate, in a minute. Like, like nasty. Things in the ballroom, we were super pumped to get more readings. So we pulled out everything and we did a series of other tests. We tried solo tests. We pulled literally all of the equipment out. It's really strange the way these things happen in investigations sometimes. You know, we'll be getting a lot of activity, a lot of direct communication, and then seemingly out of nowhere, it just stops. No one really get the Ouija board out. No, don't get the Ouija board out. How the get the Ouija board out works, or how spirits can use their energy. But it seems like 
sometimes they use their energy in a strong burst to show their presence and then they disappear. Of course it is a bit disappointing to go from high levels of communication to basically silence, but between the activity we got in the restaurant with the Yes No Prism, the ballroom EMF, and then the communication I had with whoever or whatever that was in the basement, I'd say that this investigation was well worth it. The investigation yeah, the entire time didn't feel hostile. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, it didn't, it didn't get, like, crazy crazy, do you know what I mean? But no, that was... But it definitely felt uncomfortable. Whenever you're in an incredibly old building like this and people have lost their lives there and weird shits happen there, you're going to get a lot of activity, especially in a place like... Absolutely, mate. The older, the better. This, where it's been proven by multiple teams of investigators, they always get something. And in our experience, we got a lot. This hotel at first I thought was kind of a gimmicky tourist type of location. You can go there during the day, you get a day tour, they show you all the areas of the building and tell you all the ghost stories of everything that happened. So in my mind, I'm thinking, all right, cool, this is probably like a tourist trap deal. But after getting the evidence that we got on camera, I think that there was some really solid forms of communication there. Between what I experienced in the basement, which in my opinion is extreme, I mean, I had a full-blown conversation with someone. Mate, that was mental. When he had a full-on conversation, that was absolutely crazy, man. One that wasn't there. And what we got in the ballroom with the EMFs, we're in there and we have a flood of just electromagnetic activity coming through there. It was unfortunate that it was so much of it. And then it kind of just fizzled off and stopped on us, but still. We don't really know if what Tanner saw in the basement was an apparition or if it was an actual person. Security said nobody was down there with us. Nobody went in after we went in. Nobody came out either. We never saw the man again down there. Sometimes we go to locations like this that are well-known haunted locations and come out with nothing at the end of the day. It, it all depends on whether the spirits want to come out and play. And while we were there, it seemed like they did. That day they did, mate. That day they did. The creepiest story that I have of him is that um, the staircase that goes into the lobby was right around this corner. Uh, there was a woman working up at the front desk um, and she was counting her drawer for the night. And she looked out into the lobby to see this man um, right at the top of the stairs here in kind of like a leapfrog position, mm. so to speak, staring at her. He was wearing a suit. Uh, of course, it completely freaked her out. She thought she was going to get attacked. She drops the money. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, when he sees that he's frightened her, it's like this giant, creepy grin on his face. Very Joker-esque mm -hmm. um, is the best way I can describe it. Describe it. Describe it. What the hell, mate? Nope. Nope. <laughs> yes. Yeah. There you go, mate. That was Mind CTV, full on entertainment as always, man. Freaky deaky as always. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, leave a little like. And if you're new to the channel, how about subscribing? Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.